what is up guys so today i'm bringing you a makeup slash clothing haul so basically i got some shoes from a uh, journey and i went to sephora and ulta for the first time also ordered something off of pretty little wires so um we're gonna get to see that because i didn't even open it yet so yeah uh let's see let's just get started with uh sephora I guess. so here's the bag that it came in sephora we were back i literally had to go get my studio light because the lighting was getting horrible it was horrible um you know i was trying to use natural light but the sun was going down so it is what it is but yeah so i went to sephora in ulta for the first time and it was the greatest experience ever you know because i basically got to pick out some really nice makeup that i actually want and that's really my skin tone usually when i do get makeup it was like subscription makeup i bought this on the 20th of we're in march so i bought this on the 20th of march and i literally spent 219 219 just so you guys don't think I'm lying. It clearly see total two nineteen and then the date is right there. So yeah. I just like I didn't even get that much stuff. All I got was um a lot of Fenty Beauty so i literally got um i don't even really know what any of this is but um i got a fenty beauty i'm gonna say freestyle highlighter duo and then i got the fenty beauty foundation so i got two highlighters two foundations and uh um match mix no i want to say match stick matte so that would be um this concealer stick that i picked up and then mini makeover i don't know what that is mini makeover? What? i think they just put that on there for when they give you a makeover but they didn't charge me for that and then um i got this really cute makeup palette that just came out so let's just show you guys what i got just opened it and this is what the casing looks like it's by tarte or tarte i don't know how to really say that but yeah so um it's just like some in the background there's waves as you can see and there's a little sea turtle right there but um it just says rainforest of the sea high tides and good vibes eyeshadow palette and then it shows like a little sample on the back which is really cute like i really like this casing it's kind of like if i point it in the light at a certain angle you guys can see it's like low-key holographic it's really cute but why i really had to pick up this palette though was because she told me it was new but what really caught my eye was the front of it guys like look at the front like it's literally i don't want to shake it like that much but there's like water in there and it's so cute and i love this color it's like teal but yeah this is so cute and it's gold at that but yeah as you can see this is fresh i haven't even opened it yet let's see Ooh. 
Hello, hello. This is so nice. There's like these colors in here are so nice. I don't even want to take this little plastic off. Stick right here. It says see the change. Hashtag see the change. I'm guessing like I'm gonna have to use that hashtag. What is that? This sm palette smells bomb. It smells like butter, like not literally butter you eat, but like some type of like shea butter, shea butter, whatever how you how you want to pronounce it. But I swear to you, I'm not even lying. It really smells good. But here we are. Here we are. How beautiful is that? I love those glitters in the middle. That's another reason why I had to get this because like those glitters are so bomb and then summertime is coming up and look at all those beautiful, beautiful summertime colors. We got the coral right there. We got that deep blue sea color, the turquoise green. It's like a it's like a dark black but it's really like a blue this color is really like blue but and then those natural nude colors bomb cute so cute let me know if you guys want me to do a video on this palette because i will I will. I am gonna be using this sometime soon, even though I have it literally like what six days after I got this. Because it's the 26th. See, I still got the whole setup. Yes, baby, yes. I don't know why my makeup brushes are in here. Probably my son. But, oh, look what they gave me. I didn't even know they gave me this. So, one is a, just one highlighter, which is Trophy Wife. I got Trophy Wife. I can't really see it, but I got Trophy Wife. And then I got Freestyle Highlighter Duo. So, it's two in one. And it's Mean Money and Hustler Baby. Trophy Wife and Hustler Baby. So these aren't even open either. Ooh, this is pretty. You guys cannot really see that, but like the light makes it stand out. But there's like little purple like flakes. Not I don't want to say flakes, but like glitter on here. But here's the color logo so when I tried this out in the store they had the little tester sample right there and it was like absolutely really gold when I swatched it and I was like debating on if I should even get this but you know I was convinced and I got it and it's so nice when it's new the reason why I didn't want to get it is because like I don't know Ooh, that is bomb right there. That is bomb, that is bomb. Like, it's super glittery. It was really glittery when I swatched it, but like, it makes me even like it. It makes me like it more just because I, I got it new. Back in the box, you go. Mean money and hustler baby. Mean money and hustler baby. So this one is more of like a nude color. It's really more of a nude color. This has the little purple, purplish glitter in it too, this casing. I just wish you guys could really see it. Oh yeah, you can see it like that. Oh, I mean the light reflects off of it, but this is what it looks like when the light's reflecting off. It's literally white, and then when you point it at a light, it's literally like purple glitter. 
bomb. But this one is more of nude color. Yes, it is still glittery. One side is still glittery, but the other side is more like a sheer highlighter. The glitter one is um, Hustle Baby. Hustle Baby. And then the sheer one, which would be this one, is Mean Money. So Hustle Baby is the glitter one, and the sheer one is Mean Money. And yes, these are absolutely gorgeous. I swatched these two and I just had to get it because I swatched three of her highlighters and I believe she only has three, which is this double one, the Trophy Wife, which is the gold one right there. And she has like some one that's just like Trophy Wife, but it's like pink. And I was debating if I should just get this one in the pink one or this one in the Trophy Wife are just um, Trophy Wife and um, the pink. But um, you know, I just got the nude colors because I didn't want to go too bright. I already knew that I wasn't gonna really be wearing the pink one. The next thing that I got is uh, this match stick. Yeah, matchstick and it's literally matte um it's just like a concealer stick and i got it in the color suede yeah see conceal correct or contour and contour i mean bomb has the logo right there but it's like a hexagon shape logo right there boom suede so I'm just going to be using this to contour. I didn't get a lighter color to conceal because like I like the pale look under the eyes but I would rather have the under eye look more natural. So I, I'm just going to be putting um, my regular foundation shade under my eyes. So yeah, this is again the concealer stick and then it says just the, you know, matchstick on the bottom and the color which is suede next what i got is are these two different color foundations because i couldn't figure out which one matched best on my skin and i've been watching youtube videos i've been doing my research on um fenty beauty makeup and basically i already knew when i went to Ulta and Sephora what I was gonna get I didn't just walk in there and just like oh yeah let's just you know go in there and just buy anything I already knew like what I wanted I wanted this this and that so I just didn't know which one was the best color and they were so close so this one's 310 and this one's 300 but I uh, the reason why I said brought up watching it and researching it is because um, basically, I seen that it oxidizes on your skin, which means when it dries, it gets darker. And when these dried, well, they weren't really dry on my skin when I had bought these. But when I put it on my skin, these were just too similar. Like, I just didn't know which one to choose. So, I guess I'm going to just be mixing these. I just thought the idea of just mixing them. Um... But later on that day, I did notice that I could still see the swatch on my arm. And the 310 one did um, dry darker because it is darker than the 300. The thing is, is I can't believe like I picked up only, let's see how many things I picked up. One, two, three, four, five, six things. I picked up six things and I spent 219 like. To me, that is really crazy because, well, you could like go to the beauty supply or to Target and get something way cheaper. And I don't want to say better because drugstore makeup is really not compared to, you know, luxury brands or, you know, high brands that you can't com really compare them. But my opinion, it, you 
thing. Let's go to the drugstore. Do we need to go to the drugstore? So I went to Ulta right after that. And um, when I went to Ulta, I literally just walked in and I was like, I should have came here first before I went to Sephora. But you know, it's okay. So originally when I walked into Ulta, I wanted to get the James Charles palette, but they didn't have it. And they told me I was going to have to wait all the way till Friday. And it was, um, I don't know what day that 20th fell on, but I will put it on the video somewhere. But um, I think it was a Tuesday, but I did not want to wait that long. So I just got, I I asked her if there was any other palette that was closest to that one that had multiple colors in it because usually when I would get makeup before, I would just get plain nude colors um, that would, you know, look more natural. And I just wanna try something different, this makeup journey. So she gave me um, a different palette, which was great because I liked it. But when I walked in there, I already knew what I needed, like I did at Sephora. So um, at Ulta, I spent $81.59. So you see, it says $81.59. And I got 74 points. And supposedly I saved $3.50. So because they didn't have the Charles, the James Charles palette that I really wanted, I got the Take Me Back to Brazil by BH. And I already used it. This is like the only thing I did open in my makeup was this palette because um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you could see that I did two different looks. And um, this is the palette that I did it with. And I absolutely love this palette too. It's just so tropical. It, this is also a summertime palette. I mean, it is summertime, so it is a good thing that I got all summer stuff. So on the inside, it just looks like a party is going on, girl. Like, dang. Look at all that confetti. Look at them, them feathers right there. Like, I'm ready to go to the Bahamas. <laughs> but yeah, so I love this because it has all these different colors in it the rainbow colors on the bottom it, it still has the basic basic white and black but it also has glitter in it so it's not too basic and then this last one over here is like a grayish i don't want to say mint green or mint blue but like snow blue which is great too so i absolutely love this palette you can see a little bit of them aren't all, they're not all matte, just straight matte colors. Some of them have a little bit of glitter in it, like these over here in the corner. And on the bottom. Okay, we're back. I literally had to go get my studio light because the lighting was getting horrible. It was horrible. Um, you know, I was trying to use natural light, but the sun was going down, so it is what it is. But, yeah, so I went to Sephora in Ulta for the first time, and it was the greatest experience ever, you know, because I basically got to pick out some really nice makeup that I actually want, and that's really my skin tone. Usually when I do get makeup, it was like subscription makeup like ipsy or i would just like i was like using makeup my mom was giving me that she didn't really use or that she um would let me have but yeah so literally so i bought this i bought this um i bought this for the day I bought this on the 20th of, we're in March. So I bought this on the 20th of March and I literally spent 
219. Just so you guys don't think I'm lying. I clearly see total 219. And then the date is right there. So, yeah. I just, like, I didn't even get that much stuff. All I got was, um, a lot of Fenty Beauty. <laughs> so, I literally got, um, I don't even really know what any of this is. But, um, I got a Fenty Beauty, I'm gonna say Freestyle Highlighter Duo. And then I got the Fenty Beauty foundation so i got two highlighters two foundations and uh a match mix no i want to say match stick matte so that would be um this concealer stick that i picked up and then mini makeover i don't know what that is I think they just put that on there for when they give you a makeover, but they didn't charge me for that. And then um, I got this really cute makeup palette that just came out. So let's just show you guys what I got. So I just opened it in the last video, but I had just opened it and this is what the casing looks like. It's by Tarte or Tarte. I don't know how to really say that, but yeah. So um, it's just like some in the background. There's waves, as you can see, and there's a little sea turtle right there. But um, it just says Rainforest of the Sea, High Tides, and Good Vibes Eyeshadow Palette, and then it shows like a little sample on the back. Which is really cute. Like, I really like this casing. It's kind of like, if I point it in the light at a certain angle, you guys can see it's like low key holographic. It's really cute. But what I really had to pick up this palette though was because she told me it was new, but what really caught my eye was the front of it, guys. Like, look at the front. Like, it's literally, I don't want to shake it like that much, but there's like water in there and it's so cute. And I love this color. It's like teal. But yeah, this is so cute. And it's gold like that. But yeah, as you can see, this is fresh. I haven't even opened it yet. Hello, hello. This is so nice. There's like these colors in here are so nice. I don't even want to take this little plastic off, but so this plastic right here. Oh man. Let me properly show y'all this. This plastic right here. It says see the change. Hashtag see the change. I'm guessing like I'm gonna have to use that hashtag. What is that? This sm palette smells bomb. It smells like butter, like not literally butter you eat, but like some type of like shea butter, shea butter, whatever, how you, how you want to pronounce it. But I swear to you, I'm not even lying. It really smells good. But here we are. Here we are. How beautiful is that? I love those glitters in the middle. That's another reason why I had to get this because like those glitters are so bomb and then summertime is coming up. And look at all those beautiful, beautiful summertime colors. We got the coral right there. We got that deep blue sea color. The turquoise green. 
it's like a it's like a dark black but it's really like a blue this color is really like blue but, and then those natural nude colors bomb then it has the little logo in the corner of the mirror right there so cute so cute. I'm gonna have to do another video on the palette. Comment. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on this palette because I will. I will. I am gonna be using this sometime soon, even though I haven't. Literally like what six days after I got this because it's the 26th see I still got the whole setup yes baby yes I don't know why my makeup brushes are in here probably my son but oh look what they gave me I didn't even know they gave me this how cute is that is so nice okay Fenty Beauty okay so one is a just one highlighter which is Trophy Wife I got Trophy Wife I can't really see it but I got Trophy Wife and then I got Freestyle Highlighter Duo so it's two in one and it's Mean Money and Hustler Baby. Trophy Wife and Hustler Baby. So these aren't even open either. I'm like scared to open these because they're still they're so new. They still new, they still new. I need some like scissors or something. trying to peel the tape off but it is what it is i wanted to keep it on there so i could put it back in the box but you know it's okay set up too. So here we are, here we are. Ooh, this is pretty. You guys cannot really see that, but like the light makes it stand out, but there's like little purple like flakes. Not, I don't want to say flakes, but like glitter on here but here's the color logo so when i tried this out in the store they had the little tester sample right there and it was like absolutely really gold when i swatched it and i was like debating on if i should even get this but you know i was convinced and i got it And it's so nice when it's new the reason why i didn't want to get it is because like i don't know but it's really nice when it's new a little film just fell off but look at how pretty that is oh my god that is absolutely stunning dude i am not trying to mess this up look at that what what Yes, I mean, I just have to think of that. I mean, what? What? 
Ooh, that is bomb right there. That is bomb, that is bomb. Like, it's super glittery. It was really glittery when I swatched it, but like, it makes me even like it. It makes me like it more just because I, I got it new. Back in the box you go. Back in the box you go. Okay, so here is the the main money and hustle baby. Main money and hustle baby. So, I guess, oh wait, no, I don't know, I was gonna say, I guess, like, the name of, like, the whole, uh, the whole pat, the whole highlighter palette oh my God, is called Killa What? But I don't think that's what it's called, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the name of, like, wasn't supposed to say that but maybe that's the name of the uh the the line that came out but so this one is more of like a nude color it's really more of a nude color this has the little purple purplish glitter in it too with this casing i just wish you guys could really see it oh yeah you can see it like that oh i mean the light reflects off of it but this is what it looks like when the light's reflecting off it's literally white and then when you point it at a light it's literally like purple it's glitter it's bomb but this one is more of nude color yes it is still glittery one side still glittery but the other side is more like a sheer highlighter so let's see which color is which so this sparkly one the glitter one is um hustle baby Hustler Baby, and then the sheer one, which would be this one, is Mean Money. So Hustler Baby is the glitter one, and the sheer one is Mean Money. And yes, these are absolutely gorgeous. I swatched these two, and I just had to get it because I was like, okay, so I swatched three of her highlighters, and I believe she only has three, which is this double one, the Trophy Wife, which is the gold one right there, and she has like some one that's just like Trophy Wife, but it's like pink, and I was debating if I should just get this one in the pink one, or this one in the Trophy Wife, are just um trophy wife and um the pink but um you know i just got the nude colors because i didn't want to go too bright i already knew that i wasn't gonna really be wearing the pink one even though i liked how it looked it, i just know like it would have just probably just been sitting there because I don't really wear bright colors. So the next thing that I got is uh, this matchstick. Yeah, matchstick, and it's literally matte. Um, it's just like a concealer stick, and I got it in the color suede. Yeah, see, conceal, correct, or contour, and contour. I mean.
we're doing. I just don't like how this peels off. Maybe I'm peeling it off aggressively or something, but it is peeling off horrible. What I like about these is the shape of them. Bomb has the logo right there, but it's like a hexagon shape. Logo right there. Boom. Suede. So I'm just gonna be using this to contour. I didn't get a lighter color for highlighter because, I mean, not for highlighter, for literally, no, I'm gonna, yeah, I took, I didn't get a lighter color to conceal because, like, I like the pale look under the eyes, but I would rather have the under eye look more natural, so I, I'm just gonna be putting, um, my regular foundation shade under my eyes. So, yeah, this is again the concealer stick and then it says just the you know match stick on the bottom and the color which is suede so next what i got is are these two different color foundations because I couldn't figure out which one matched best on my skin. And I've been watching YouTube videos. I've been doing my research on um, Fenty Beauty makeup. And basically, I already knew when I went to Ulta and Sephora what I was going to get. I didn't just walk in there and just like, oh, yeah, let's just, you know, go in there and just buy anything. I already knew, like, what I wanted. I wanted this, this, and that. So I just didn't know which one was the best color and they were so close so this one's 310 and then this one's 300 but I uh, the reason why I said brought up watching it and researching it is because um basically I seen that it oxidizes on your skin which means when it dries it gets darker and when these dried well they weren't really dry on my skin when I had bought these but when I put it on my skin these were just too similar like i just didn't know which one to choose so i guess i'm gonna just be mixing these i just thought the idea of just mixing them um but later on that day i did notice that i could still see the swatch on my arm and the 310 one did um dry darker because it is darker than the 300 so it or the 300 dried darker, I believe, than the 310. And um, yeah, so maybe I won't be mixing these. Maybe I'm just gonna use one for, you know, something else. But for now, I don't really wear foundation. Uh, the only time I do wear it is when I'm really trying to, um, the only time I really do wear it is when I'm really trying to contour or really trying to shape, change the shape of my face. That is honestly the only time I really... Ooh, that is really the only time I really um, use foundation. Other than that, I don't use it, but I am going to start using it. No, so, I want to. I really do. I really do. That's why I bought this. So we're just gonna put this back now. We're just gonna put this stuff back. So yeah, that's what I got from Sephora. My only thing is, is I can't believe like I picked up only, let's see how many things I picked up. One, two, three, four, five, six things. I picked up six things and I spent two nineteen. Like, to me, that is really crazy because, well, you could, like, go to the beauty supply or to Target and get something way cheaper. And I don't want to say better because drugstore makeup is really not compared to, you know, luxury brands or, you know, high 
brands that you can't com really compare them but my opinion it, you need to go to the drugstore you need to go to the drugstore so I went to Ulta right after that and um, when I went to Ulta I literally just walked in and I was like I should have came here first before I went to Sephora but you know it's okay so originally when I walked into Ulta I wanted to get the James Charles palette but they didn't have it and they told me I was gonna have to wait all the way till Friday and it was um, I don't know what day that 20th fell on but I will put it on the video somewhere but um I think it was a Tuesday but I did not want to wait that long so I just got I I asked her if there was any other palette that was closest to that one that had multiple colors in it because usually when I would get makeup before I would just get plain nude colors um that would you know look more natural and I just want to try something different this makeup journey so she gave me um a different palette which was great because I like it so when I walked in there I already knew what I needed like I did at Sephora so um at Ulta I spent $81.59 and I only bought let's see if it says it on here it doesn't so I'm gonna have to count one two three four five so I bought uh five things at Ulta and I spent $81.59 so yeah so right here you can clearly see it says $81.59 and I got 74 points and supposedly I saved three dollars and fifty cents so because they didn't have the Charles the James Charles palette that I really wanted I got the take me back to Brazil by BH and I already used it this is like the only thing I did open in my makeup was this palette because um, if you guys follow me on Instagram you could see that I did two different looks and um, this is the palette that I did it with and I absolutely love this palette too it's just so tropical it this is also a summertime palette I mean it is summertime so it is a good thing that I got all summer stuff so on the inside it just looks like a party is going on girl like dang look at all that confetti look at them them feathers right there like I'm ready to go to the Bahamas <laughs> but yeah so i love this because it has all these different colors in it the rainbow colors on the bottom it, it still has the basic basic white and black but it also has glitter in it so it's not too basic and then this last one over here is like a grayish i don't want to say mint green or mint blue but like snow blue which is great too so i absolutely love this palette you can see a little bit of them aren't all they're not all matte just straight matte colors some of them have a little bit of glitter in it like these over here in the corner and on the bottom row basically like every color has its own glitter color in it yeah literally but yeah that's the take me back to Brazil. This one has 35 colors. It does? Yeah, so it's a pretty good palette. First color palette for me. Um, next, what I really needed because I, what I really needed was um, a beauty sponge because I don't know, everybody has them and I just wanted to try it. So I went to the Morphe section and I did use this too because uh, I was wearing makeup that day and I wanted to see what this was like if I was to just like 
wipe my makeup off and then do it with this. I usually use my under eye concealer with a brush and this worked really good it actually blended it in so good like it worked way better than a brush so i understand why y'all be out there using the sponges you know because you know your girl is late so yeah i went in there for eyebrow stuff a palette and mascara so i did get brow dip from anastasia beverly hills and i got it in me medium brown so yeah, I got it in medium brown. This is not even open yet either. Let's see what this looks like. I did see the sampler out though. Again, medium brown. Because my eyebrows are not even that dark. So, you know, medium brown. And I love dip brow. And this is so cute too. A little A on it for Antoinette. Just kidding, it's for Anastasia, but still I love that because my name starts with an A. Ooh, and it has a crown. It has a crown on it like my tattoo. Look guys, look guys. Now we're twins. We're twins now. I was walking around Ulta like starstruck. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. I asked one of the workers there, um, where could I find what I was looking for? She was like, um, you just basically have to go buy a brand. You know, I'm not really good for makeup brands, so I was just in there lost. So I just went, when I was looking for mascara, I just went and went to, I just went to the best makeup brand that I know, which was NYX. And I just picked up a NYX um, mascara in black. And it's called Worth the Hype. I was really looking for a mascara brush that was thick because my eyebrows are really short. And every time I use a thicker brow brush, eye, eyebrow brush, eyebrow brush, mascara brush, I mean, it tends to make my eyelashes longer. But, you know... So I picked this up. Then I was in line and I saw this. I saw this while I was in line, guys. So you know I had to pick this up. I seen everyone using this. And of course they had a little a little um you know display right there and my eyebrows damn near look like hers so you know this was just calling my name and they have a display of the brush on the back and you know might as well so yeah i just picked this up and it's by Too faced their newest mascara with peyton list that just came out better than sex this better be than sex because you know oh my oh my Oh my god, there's a mop right here. I just got hell scared. I was hoping that it didn't fly back in. I was really scared. It flew out, thank god, and it knew to fly out because it knew that if I would have got a hold of it, I would have sprayed the hell out of it. But yeah. So yeah, uh, I picked this up first, the NYX mascara, and then I found this, so boom. I still haven't used none of them, so this one's still in the package. As you can see, it still has like the wrapping over it. And this one I haven't even opened either. I did see another one by Too Faced. Ooh, I just ripped it. But I seen Too Faced. Uh, <laughs> that is funny. Better than sex. Was it too good for you? what it says it right there was it too good for you <laughs> that is hilarious but um yeah i seen a waterproof one and i was gonna pick up the waterproof one but it was like in a smaller box and the box was like this big and i was like oh hell no i'm gonna have to stick with this one but this case is so cute it's pink and gold my favorite colors Two of my favorite colors and this is bomb it's like 
heavy duty heavy duty it's very heavy so that's how you know it's durable so yeah toothpaste better than sex mascara let's see what this looks like oh yeah that's nice I think this is gonna work perfect, guys. I really do think this is gonna work perfect. Like, mascara is so amazing, it's better than sex. Our uh, Hourglass Sheet Brush was designed after discovering the best waist hip ratio of an iconic silver screen bomb bombshell held to the secret, held the secret to the perfect brush silhouette that separates coats and curls each, each lash to value plus perfection. The award-winning formula creates lashes that are, that are full, defined, and stretched to unbelievable lengths for intense black, oversized, multi-dimensional lashes. 97% said this mascara creates a false lash effect. 100% saw dramatic value. 100% saw longer lashes. 93% saw base to tip curl. I didn't know what I was looking for. I just knew that I wanted some black shoes, but I already have black shoes. So I was looking for something, you know, unique, different. I mean, I really wasn't, but I was. That's what I'm always looking for when I'm going shopping, is like something nobody else has. So basically, I walk in. I didn't like, they didn't jump out at me. So I didn't really like notice them. But when I did notice them, like at first I looked at them, I'm like, yeah, I've been wanting some of those type of like the brand of shoe, but I didn't know what kind of, you know, collection that I wanted. So basically, I got some pila, some pilas, pilas. So I got some pilas, and yeah, I've been wanting some of these shoes without this part. So just imagine this part. I was cover up this. So just imagine this part right here without the, you know, the ankle boot part. And I found these in some boots, and they're so cute. So when I saw them, they were not like this. They weren't like this. They were like folded. And so you can wear these shoes in two different types of styles. So they were folded like this when I saw them on the um, display. And when I first saw them, I was like, I was like, uh, I don't know, but when she went and got my size and I tried it on, I was like, oh yeah, you know what? It's a done deal. I'm gonna have to put my shoes on that I have on right now in the box and we're gonna walk out with these right now. And that is exactly what I did. So yeah, I just like put these bad boys on and I just walked out the store, but yeah, I need to clean them. But I got these they actually had these in white and black and i was debating if i should get the black ones because i have been looking for more black shoes but like i said i'm always looking for something different so i just got white and yeah if you guys have been following me on instagram you know you guys see these but so yeah there's like the logo right there and it's like suede and it's crazy because these are actually real leather and in the middle of the shoestrings right here you guys can't see but it's like reflective so when i do put the flashlight on them you can see the reflection so by comparison folded and not folded yes i left the tag on there because um that is just what i do i just every time i get vans i leave my Vans logo tag on there too because that's just what I do that is just what I do and this one came with one so of course I had to leave my Dimas logo on there and it's still bomb with the logo so you know so yeah these are so soft they're really soft they're really warm it actually you can actually button button it down so there's a button right there and the little Click button is right there. You can button these sides down right here. I feel like I'm walking on my, you know, them clouds. Y'all don't even know. Like they're so comfortable. They they really are. They're really soft. Like they're great. They really are. They're great.
I really are. And then, previously, before I even went to the mall or anything, the same day, I think, I ordered something off of Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars. What is wrong with me? Yeah, I ordered something off of off of a TV show. Pretty Little Things. I ordered something off of Pretty Little Things. And look at their bag. It's so cute. It has like little unicorns on it. How cute is that? So what I spent on the shoes, I think, were $90. I think I spent $90 on those shoes. Oh, yeah. So from Pretty Little Things, I got this t-shirt dress with Bugs Bunny. I got this t-shirt dress. And then I got... Y'all gonna have to see this. We're just gonna have to put this on. 